All right, guys, so today I'm going to be doing a brake job on 2010 Ford Fiesta. <coughs> uh, just changing the discs, front discs and pads. All right, there we go, I got the wheel off. As you can see, the disc is uh, pretty shit. Definitely needed doing. Um, pads look all right, but the discs aren't the best, so... Um, start with uh, bolting the caliper. Let me see what I need for that. These slide pin bolts are uh, 12 mil. One up top there, one down bottom here. I need two ones for. These out. Don't really want to let it hang on that um, cable, so try hook it to something. There you go, just hook it up there. Right, get these pads off. Unfortunately, I don't have any um, new metal clips. It is best to change them as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any, so I'll just try to clean them up a little bit. They look all right, though. They look fine, so should be all right. All right, so uh, let's move the caliper bracket now. Looks like an 18 or maybe 16. Fifteen mil. Okay. All right, let me get a thing on that. Yeah, you got one there. Fifteen mil. And you got one down here. Another fifteen mil. All right, let's get it off. All right, so I got the uh, color um, bracket off. That's that. They were fifteen. Uh, they were twelve, I think. 13? Yeah, they were 13. No, no, they were 12, yeah. They were 12, I was 15. Um, now this is on, and it's stuck on. So you just want to get your hammer and just lightly tap around it. Right, so I got the uh, the disc off. It was a little hard because it was all rusted around here. But all you do is just keep hitting the back of it either side, keep rotating, and it will slowly come off. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clean this up, get all this rust off, uh, clean the colour bracket up. Then I'm going to seal this with some grease, copper grease. So next time someone wants to do break discs, it'll come off easier. I've also got uh, some brake clean and just spray that on there and just use one of these just get it all off all right so i've uh cleaned that up and covered it in copper grease cleaned the cover bracket up the clips so i've got to reuse them um so this one the disc put that on there Lovely. Um, put the bracket back on. So we'll put the clips in first and put the bracket back on here. Um, and yeah. All right, so I've got the um, clips in. Cleaned them up, they look fine. Um, ideally, I would like to change them, but um, didn't come with any with the pads, so 
just got to deal with it really. Um, yeah, so they're on, that's on. Pads in. Ideal. Right, so now just uh, slap the pads in. Oh, do you? Yeah. Is that what you do? That is exactly what you do, mate. Which fucking. Oh. Oh, that's the fucking hard, though. Right, so I've got the um, pads in. A little tricky, but they're in there now. Look good. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, compress the color piston, this tool here. Do you so people can have a little decal that's done. I've never used one of these before. It's a little hard doing it fucking even with two hands. There we go. Right, and then you just twist this. If you watch that little right there, you'll see that go back in. Sometimes you might want to open up the brake cap uh, reservoir, just uh, let the air out, but we should be alright because it was looking a little low anyway. There you go, that's that in. There we go, and then you just shove that back on there. You? Kiki. <laughs> Pad a pen in the ass trying to get these to fucking go in. Got it yet? Alright, so all this side's um, finished. Bolted these two back in, tightened them up to spec. Bottom two ones tightened up to spec as well. Um, now I'll just put the wheel back on and do the other side.
right there we go that's uh, the brakes done just remember to tighten all these up to spec and when you put it down the floor just remember to pump your brakes just give it a couple pumps make sure that everything's working and solid <coughs> there you go all right thanks for watching